So a little birdie told me that a video showing you how to use that turn it in feature so you can check for plagiarism uh, when making an assignment on my connect uh, might be helpful to you. So here it is. So I'm just going into one of my courses. Uh, in this case, it's my AP Gov course. And what I need to do is I need to create an assignment. And that's how I'm going to get the option for turn it in or plagiarism check. So I go in here to create an assignment. Um, all of your assignments will load but I've got a bunch. Uh, I'm going to click on plus new assignment uh, and then I can give it an assignment name, put my instructions in here, all that kind of stuff. And then this is where you want to take a look uh, because you want them to submit it online. Uh, you can submit it as a text entry, they can submit it as uh, a link to like a Google Doc or something like that. The problem with that is a link will not get checked for, for plagiarism. So you don't really want to deal with that. Uh, the two that will check for plagiarism, text entry where they could kind of copy and paste everything they wrote into a text box. Not great, you're going to lose some formatting. Or a file upload. They can upload a Google Doc, they can upload a Word, Microsoft Word document, they can upload a, even a PDF, they can upload all kinds of things. But make sure you get those checked and then you say enable Turnitin submissions and that's pretty much all you need to do. You can go in here and check out some additional features uh, and kind of play around with the settings. The default settings work pretty well uh, but that's what you'll do. So then you go down you can assign a you know a, a particular class whichever class section you want for this uh, you, you know then you can uh, you can you know make the assignment available from this date to this date and time. I usually just make it available now and then would mean leave this alone and then I close it at a certain time and then I save and publish and let them know to uh, to submit to that assignment and you're all done. I'm not going to save this myself but the students will submit um, and then what you'll see let me go in here I'll show you what you will see as a teacher is you'll go in here, you get a bunch of submissions, um, you, you're going to need to click on speed grader and then what you'll see from speed grader is here's the percentage that you'll get. So this is your similarity score, it tells you what percentage of the, the overall paper has been plagiarized. If you want to go in and see uh, what parts of it have been plagiarized you can click on that little three percent or that little number there yeah I agree and what it does is come on let's get out of there and it'll highlight anything in your paper that or in the student paper that is identical to either anybody else's or anything out on the web this was my instruction here so that's what got you know, copied in or plagiarized, uh, but I can see that it highlights it as a number one. And what that means is I can click over here to check the match, and what it'll do is it'll tell me who it matches. So it matches another paper that was submitted um, to Poway Unified School District. I could go in here and click in here to see what that breakdown is. Look, here's some other things. It tells me what it is. Um, this was another student's paper. If I'm lucky, I can go in here and I can say submitted. Um, you know, I could download the original paper from another class or whatever it might be, and then most likely that student's name is on there, right? And then I know uh, who that other student, uh, you know, gave that information or this student copied off of that other student. So that's how you do it, and that's how you look through it. And there you go. You can go back here and you can go to your next student and. There you go, you're, oh, 17%. Um, and so you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, and there you go.